what is fascinating is it's not just a morphology tool, but it allows you to look at cancer cells in ways that it hasn't been uh, seen before, to push on them, to pull on them, to measure them mechanically, quantitatively, and very precisely. And that's really exciting at this, that small scale. So the way the AFM measures the cell is, is really very simple. You have this fine lever or needle that actually pushes onto the cells and then you measure how that cell deforms under the force that you're pushing on it. And that's how you get you know, what is called the Young's modulus for the AFM. I work on cancer cell biology, I'm using the adamant force microscopy and I'm also interested in the mechanics of cells for diagnostic applications and also using exosomes as a diagnostic tool. So one of the challenges of the field is, you know, looking at the cells when they are in the culture media, you know, optimal conditions, and taking that uh, clues from there to actually going for patient samples where you have a much complex situation and using that as a diagnostic tool and whether it has significance, that's the challenge and that's the exciting part of the whole concept. So one of the things, the one of the first, the very first papers was, you know, the the Nature Nanotech paper, which used body fluid samples from patients with uh, lung penetrating and breast cancer. And the subsequent paper in 2012 is where there was a biopsy that was looked at using the AFM. And I think one of the things, the key is, you know, looking at the scales from single cells to tissues. And at some point, it will be exciting if we can do this in vivo without having to take the cells out in a petri dish to measure them. Just have the patient come in, have a probe that actually goes in and measures the mechanical properties. That will be exciting. The heterogeneity of the, the the cancer. We still don't know much about the cancer. You know, the more we know about it, the more we realize that there are a lot of unknowns. So I think that's the challenge: how we look at the heterogeneity of this cancer.